Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I bought this off Amazon. It's a Mueller Ultra Brew coffee maker. Now the reason I bought this is because Amazon, this is their recommended choice for a coffee uh, maker. So I'm gonna unbox it. Didn't come in two days, it came, took three days. Seems like it's pretty well protected. Okay, I've got it unboxed and I went ahead and it says the instruction manual says to run two pots of coffee through it. So I went ahead and did that so we'll have a more accurate reading. But I want to show you here's the coffee pot. And it's got the standard tilt up lid, which comes off relatively easy. Yeah, it comes off. And then you just, and then I like this, you can get your hand in there and clean it. So, you gotta lift the top up in order to get to the coffee filter. Now, one thing Amazon was kind of unclear, which maybe I just didn't look for it, but this thing has a permanent coffee filter. I'm not sure if I like that or not. I've never had one with a coffee, a permanent coffee filter. Maybe this is the way to go. I'm not sure. I've always had coffee filters. But the box clearly states it. But I know when I was on Amazon, it just it wasn't very clear. It just said this was the best choice. This was the number one seller and all that. So, And it's got this other design here. I'm not sure. But you cannot lift the lid up when it's brewing. Otherwise, you're going to get shot with uh, hot steam. So, easy enough, it's got this little handle, we're going to put some coffee in there, it's got the standard instructions, um, it does come with this little measuring thing, it is one tablespoon, I checked, and it says one, one tablespoon, one heaping tablespoon for every cup of coffee, and I've done the math in my previous videos, when I do it, uh, so 12 cups, and when I dump 12 tablespoons into this one cup, it almost fills it, it's just a little bit short. It's got an LCD display. It lights up when you press the on button, but it's normally not lit. I think it probably should be lit all the time, but it's not. Standard burner plate. It's got some metal on the front. I'm not, this metal, it's a nice design, but it actually looks like it's been dented in when you first look at it, so. It's got this cord storage in the back. I guess would be nice. I never store my cord, but yeah, there's, there's some room in there to store the cord. Okay, I've got it filled up to the 12 mark, 12 cup mark. Now the instructions do say that you're not gonna get exactly 12 cups out because there'll be some left in the filter and some that evaporates, so you, it'll probably come in a little less. But I've got my coffee here. Like I said, it, it comes out to just a little under one full cup. I'm gonna dump it in there. There's the reservoir for the bolt, the water. You can dump it in either side. This one's got a little bigger opening. Okay, I'm gonna put the, now this is what you wanna make sure and close this. I know in previous reviews of Mr. Coffee's, I've left the lid open so I can see what's going on. But um, I'm gonna wanna make sure you got this lid closed. And it's not just closed, I think you want to snap it down, okay? I'm going to do a normal brew, it says to do a normal brew, you just press the on off button. So I've started a stopwatch, it, it starts uh, brewing within about 10-15 seconds. It looks like it's just going to be really slow. It does have this strength, it says you can press this button and it'll make it stronger. So. If you do, if you just press the on-off button to start a pot of coffee, it's going to be normal strength. But if you want a stronger pot, you're supposed to press that, and then that light will light up. But I'm assuming it just lets pour. I'm going to check it, but I'm assuming it just has uh, less water come out. Okay, so it does have this sight uh, glass on the side. It shows you where the water is at. But I do want to show you this brewing. 
Okay, so there's it brewing, the water, the coffee is coming out. And this is what they got, what they call like a pause, a brewing pause. And so what happens is, is when you take the pot of coffee out, there's a plunger that comes down and stops the brewing from coming out. So that's really nice if you want to get a pot of coffee really quick. And then you want to put it back. And then it continues to brew again. You can't do that extremely long, but it does give you enough to pour a pot of coffee. But it does drip. So when you take it out, you might get a little drip onto the burner and it might smell a little bit. Okay, so we're at the four minute mark and it's not quite to the four cup. So it's taken a while. The instructions does, this doesn't um, advertise itself as a quick brew. And again, the instruction says between about 10 or 12 minutes, but I'll time it exactly. While we're waiting on it to brew, so when it's brewing, this, this red light is on. And when you first turn it on to set the uh, clock, it's just just hold the hour meter and or the hour button, and the hour will start to change. And same with the minutes. Okay, so I don't recommend doing this, but I did lift the lid up a little bit. I just want to see what's going on inside here. Yeah, it's got pretty hot water coming out, and it's filling up that basket with water. So as far as these. Uh, Compared to other coffee makers, man, that it is soaking all of the coffee grounds. And that, that hot water has to go through almost all the coffee grounds to get to the coffee pot. So this might actually be a better brew. I'm not the best expert on the taste of coffee, but so I don't recommend lifting that up because it is a little hot. There is quite a bit of steam coming out. So I just want to give everybody a view of what's going on in there. I do want to mention this comes with a really nice instruction manual. It, Mueller is made in Australia or Austria You know and they do do it's all written in English very well uh, easy to read um, Yeah, I really do like the instruction manual. Mr. Coffee's don't come with this These good of instructions It didn't say so in the cleaning part. It doesn't say if anything's dishwasher safe I'm assuming this will be in the lid but I'm not sure about that basket and I'm not even sure how long that basket's going to last and how often you have to replace that basket. So. Okay, so we're at the nine minute mark. And we're not quite to the... We're about nine cups. So nine minutes, nine cups. And it's still brewing pretty good. The thing's not extremely loud. It's got your typical percolator sound of hot water coming out and going on top of there. So nothing too extremely loud. Just a kind of a normal coffee pot sound. Okay, so one thing I did notice is there's quite a bit of steam coming around this lid. I don't know how well you can see it, but towards the end of the cycle, and even during the cycle, there's a lot of steam coming around this lid. So if it was underneath a cabinet, I don't think it would do any damage, but just, just keep that in mind that this does have a little more steam than normal. Okay, so we're right at the 11 minute mark. Like I said, I've had the 12 cup water all the way full it's right around 11 the instructions is clear that you're not going to get exactly 12 cups but so there you have it. i'm going to give it a taste try i want to show you again don't lift this lid so towards the end of the cycle i kind of lifted it a little bit there is a bunch of steam that wants to come out underneath this lid so just you're just gonna you're not going to be able to to do anything right away with this filter you're going to have to let that filter cool is to reach down there and grab it. That, so that's one thing. I mean, you may not be making a pot of coffee really quick again, but I know in other coffee makers, it's pretty easy to start making another pot again. And one thing I did notice, so this top is hot. It's extremely hot. I, the Mr. Coffee's never got that hot and my bun doesn't get this hot. So this, this isn't hot. Boy, this top is really, really hot. Okay, so I'm gonna, it's done brewing. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and see what happens, and pour me a cup, see how it tastes. Pours really good. It's got good ergonomic feel to it. You know, it's heavy because it's got 12 cups, but it, it feels good. And it goes back in there, it sits, it's very well designed as far as where the pot sits. It's not gonna, you're not gonna wanna put it over to one side or not, but if you didn't get it all the way, centered i do like that this lid is concaved 
So if you don't get it all the way right where it's supposed to be, if it's off a little bit, it's going to uh, drain into the coffee pot. Okay, so again, the coffee it tasted it tasted pretty good. It tasted my a little bit might be a little bit stronger than with my Bunomatic. There's what the the uh, coffee grounds look like after the end. You know, there's a lot of water on this, so if you did have to reach down in here, it's not super hot. But you're gonna have to take that over to the trash can and get rid of it. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this design or not, and I'm. Finding I don't like it because look so I lift it up and it may drip wherever I take it to the trash can Okay, so I don't know if I like this or not so you you take it over to the trash can and you bang it out But then you still got coffee grounds So you know what that means you're gonna go over to your sink and then you're gonna rinse and you're gonna have coffee grounds down your sink Okay, so keep that in mind. I know with a filter. It's just so nice You just dump that thing over and the filter comes out and everything's all the grounds go into the uh, the trash. Okay, so I'm rinsing it off. Like I said, you're gonna have coffee grounds. I've, I've always heard coffee grounds down the sink is a bad deal. But what you do is you're gonna have a little bit of coffee grounds going down the sink. Anyway. Okay, so rinsing it out. You know, I mean, it's not a hard job to rinse it out, but it is a little discolored. I don't know if you're supposed to wash that after every single use. I mean, most times I just rinse things out for coffee, but... Okay, so it does have this funnel that you can take... So the, the coffee filter gets down in this funnel, and the funnel is removable. So you could use that to carry it with, and then once you got to the trash can, you could dump it out that way. It might be a little easier, but... Okay, we're going to check the temperature of it. Yeah, right around 163, 164, 165, 167 in the pot. So again, I'm I'm gonna do a uh, I'm gonna do a stronger pot of coffee with that strength button. But I want to show you. So you have to have quite a bit of room underneath your cabinet. This thing lifts to the back, and you got to pour the water in the back. So you got to have plenty of room underneath your cabinet to do the work here. And I do want to show you that back here there are overflow so that you won't fill this thing up too far. So I've got it, it's just below that and I've got 12 cups in. So you, again, make sure you close this all the way. It says that, so you turn, to start a cup of coffee, you turn it on then hit the strength button. Now these aren't flashing in real life. They're on steady. So that one's on, and I'm going to time it. And I'm going to taste it and see if it's actually stronger. Okay, so I did the strength. This will make the coffee stronger. It does the same amount of water, but it just takes a little longer. So we're right around 13, 13 and a half minutes, and it just stopped brewing. So that's where they get their strength. I did notice it doesn't quite percolate. It, like... It's not a constant percolate, um, so it just extends the coffee brewing. It doesn't. It still does the same amount of water and coffee. Okay, so I wanted to see, make sure the temperature was where it needs to be. Yeah, 163, 160, 167. So the temperature is about the same. In the coffee, it might be, or in the, in the cup, it might be just a tad cooler. So when you're done with the strength mode, you just want to turn it off. When you want to turn the coffee pot, you just hit the on-off button. And the next time you turn it on, it reverts back to normal strength, so it doesn't leave it in the strength mode. I'm going to show you how to do the program mode. So you've got your time set, and then you press the program. Button, and this brings up the time that you want it to start. So I wanted to start at five five o'clock in the afternoon, just for testing purposes. Okay, so before you program, you, you're the night before you're going to want to put your water in and your coffee in, so that it's all ready to go. I'm reusing coffee, but so make sure your water and your coffee's in, and then you're gonna, like I said, you're gonna press the program button. You're gonna tell it what time you want it to start.
Oh, and then you have to hit delayed brew. So once you got your program, this 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 allows you to pick the time. Then you've got to hit this delay brew. So then the green light comes on. It's not flashing in real life. It's just on steady. And then it's going to start at, I got it set for six. It's going to start at six. Okay, so one nice feature is I've got delay brew started. I've got it pressed and that means, so it's not brewing any coffee right now, but the green light is on. But I did notice, so if I say you want a strong pot of coffee in the morning, you can press the strength button and it's going to make a, this light will light up. So I'm assuming that when it starts its delay, when it starts its programmed brewing, it's going to be a um, strong pot of coffee, which will take longer. So if you want to start this in the morning, before you, I would start the brewing process by 15, maybe even 20 minutes before you want your first cup of coffee. And especially if you want the strength to be uh, really strong, you really want to give yourself 15, 20 minutes. I just want to see what it's going to do when the strike clock strikes six. That's when the delayed brew, brew is supposed to start. Okay, I did hear something kick on, so the light turned to red. And it's starting to brew a pot of coffee. So the delay brew does start. You just have to program it with this and change the hours and minutes and then set it with delay brew. And you can't change the clock when you're when the coffee pot is either on or in, in delayed brew. You can't change the clock time, but it's simply just turn it on and off. Okay, so I want to go over the parts that come apart. Like I said, that's that funnel that the filter sits in, and it's got the, the pause valve. So when the coffee pot uh, presses up against it, then it allows the coffee to come out. Again, the instructions don't say this stuff's dishwasher safe. I, I would assume the the pot is and the lid is. I would not put this in the dishwasher. This is a really fine. I mean, it looks like it'd be really easy to tear. I don't see anywhere on it that says dishwasher safe. So rent it, you know, doing it one time did stain it pretty good. I'm just not sure how long these are gonna last. And I do like this, you can get your hand in there and actually scrub and clean it. Okay, so I'm gonna compare this to my Speedomatic bun. For hundred dollars, this cost me about fifty bucks off Amazon. This one, the form and function of it just is so much better. You got a little thing left up there, put your water in. You've got this basket that holds a filter, and then you just take this over there and you dump it out, and it's it's clean. You know, coffee grounds are left over. You know, so this one, you know, that does have some benefits. I did notice that the. You know, the water did get in around the coffee grounds a bunch more. And that filter design, you know, that filter design allowed, I think, more penetration of the hot water into the coffee. So you might actually get a little better tasting. I, I'm, like I said, I'm not a coffee expert. I don't know the taste that well. But it did taste good. Um, you do have some features on here of a delayed brew and its strength. This one, the bun's just a simple on-off, and that's for the burner because it keeps the water hot in the back all the time, ready to go. So when you pour water in, it just immediately starts coming out. This one brews in four minutes. Like I said, this one took, you know, 10, 12 minutes. In form factor, it's a little smaller than the other one, uh, but you do have this big lid that lifts up and it's a lot of water on it. And, you know, it's, it feels just a little cheaper. You know, this one's a little nicer, I think. Again, this is Just a Dad, and I wanted to do a review on the Mueller coffee maker from Amazon. It's, it's rated number one. It's got their little symbol that pops up saying this is what they recommend to buy, so I thought I would give it a try. And I'm just doing a simple video. I don't have a big production studio or anything, but more of a just a common sense approach to coffee makers, and hopefully this video helps you make a decision on what you want to buy. Again, please like and subscribe, and thank you.